Hi guys, it's Sarah Taylor. This is a 36 by 48 acrylic on canvas called Summit. I'm going to talk to you about the colors I'm going to use, starting with this turquoise. This is a alchemy opal blue mixed with golden fluid turquoise. This is Arteza cerulean blue mixed with some Arteza pale green, phalo green, and some golden fluid turquoise. Uh, this kind of dark blue is golden fluid Prussian blue, deepened with a bit of Liquitex Mars Black. This gray is a gray from a uh, scraped off plastic from a different painting. Kind of a light, little bit of purple, little bit of red. Um, I can't tell you exactly what it is. This is a Grumbacher Burnt Umber mixed with some Mars Black to darken it. And these are all mixed with my pouring medium, which is 70% Floetrol. And in this case, it's 30% Liquitex pouring medium. And this is a Burnt Sienna mixed with some copper. So the Burnt Sienna is Grumbacher, the copper is Blick, and Golden Heavy Body Iridescent Copper. Now this is an unbleached white paint by Grumbacher. Kind of a pale yellow. And the gold is Extreme Sheen by Deco Art, 24 karat gold. And then I have some black paint here mixed up. This is a Dick Blick Black. That was with the smelly flow trawl, so I'm covering it back up. <laughs> I mixed a bunch of black paint with that, with that bad flow trawl. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go over onto our 36 by 48 inch canvas. And my white is, <clears throat> it's about 40% uh, house paint, which is a uh, untinted uh, base three house paint and satin. And then there is about 20% Floetrol and about uh, the rest is water and some white acrylic paint. <laughs> and I've been thinking about how to get kind of some wider lines with less cells. Um, and a lot of people have been experimenting with funnel. And I really think that this would be a great way to get kind of nice big wide bands of paint across the canvas, especially a large canvas like this. So I'm just kind of layering in and I'm not doing a bunch of layers. I'm doing a couple colors at a time into the funnel. And I love the control that this gives. You know, if, if you want a big fat line of gray, you can just pour a bunch of gray into the funnel and go uh, run it through the white paint. And I'm, I'm kind of on lots of these lines, um, adding a little bit of the gold and some burnt sienna. I'm getting into my turquoises now. So I started with more the unbleached white, the brown, um, the burnt sienna, and I'm kind of moving up into more gray and black and turquoise. And this is kind of an experiment, but I've been thinking about it for a while, how to achieve this effect that I have in my mind. Um, and this, uh, I, think, I, I think that this is a, a good way to do it. In retrospect, I probably should have coated the entire canvas with white. I'm kind of a, <laughs> uh, I'm kind of cheap, I guess. I try to use, uh, you know, less paint when I can, so you don't, you know, waste as much coming off the sides. So uh, you're gonna see why when I tilt it. And, but this painting has some different stages that it goes through. Um, and I really, really like how it turned out. Uh, I think it's different and, you know, pretty abstract. Uh, I, it has not so much of the cell look, but more kind of the thick lines, thick bands of paint. So I'm just gonna tilt it back and forth. And this is where I kind of realized I needed more white paint. And I didn't have as much mixed up as I should have, um, but that's okay, you know? These things can get worked through. Um, so that gray up at the top, you're gonna see what I do. I just kind of add some more gray and some more teal. 
kind of improvising. And I'll let you guys watch and I do let this dry and I'm, I come back and I pour onto it again after it's dry. So, and you'll see why the, the bottom part, uh, I work with it quite a bit, not the part with the gray and the teal, but the other bottom part there. And I wanted some negative space, but it was too much and it just wasn't quite working for me. So you'll see how it turns out and I hope you enjoy. Uh, if you have any questions, I'd love to answer. Um, this was uh, kind of a fun painting and I hope you like it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and my Instagram is at sarahtaylor.modernart. Love to see you there as well. I hope you have a beautiful day and take great care. We will see you again soon. Thank you.